Discretion is advised. What is going on, y'all? Welcome to a brand new episode of Train Simulator 2021. And today we are taking a look at the CP Alderside route made by Wet Koala. It is currently updated and in beta stages right now, as you guys can see um, by the route screen there. It says Canadian Pacific Alderside Subdivision Beta. So I'm super excited about it. I believe he told me it's about 70% done. Uh, with scenery and all that fun stuff, so looking forward to getting here and checking it out. But uh, we're going to be using Searchlight Simulation CP4400 CW locomotives today. And uh, let's go ahead and hop out and check out the route. Alright guys, so here we are on the Canadian Pacific Alderside route. We currently have our Searchlight Simulations Canadian Pacific AC4400 CW locomotives. And if you come back over here, we have some brand new grain cars. These are available on Railworks America, and I will have a link to them in the description if you guys do want to check them out. We kind of have the older uh, Canadian Pacific Pac-Man paint scheme. We have the newer um, CP, which is just literally CP written across the top in the center there, and that's it. And then we also have the Sioux Line Canadian Pacific Railway with the gold with the beaver uh, logo and the red things at the on the bottom there I believe those are reflectors I believe I'm not a hundred percent certain and then we just have the golden beaver um, paint scheme on this one so like I said these are, are available on the Railworks America site and uh, they are available and I will have them linked in the description and that's basically our train and then we also have a couple hoppers from the uh, CP Mountain Passes, so we're just kind of running a little bit of a grain train today. Long grain train, but it's okay. We kind of end out with the Pac-Man one here. But let's go ahead and start up these locomotives here since there is an actual process to starting these up, which is awesome. We're going to go in and start by at throwing the reverser into the slot, which is right there. And then we are going to turn on the fuel pump and the I believe it's this one yep control circuit breaker and then we come back to the back panel here all of this stuff up here does need to be on so we're gonna go ahead and do all of that there we go and then once we are done with that, we are going to isolate this for about five seconds. There we go. And then let's go ahead and open up the back panels here. Um, one of the nice things, though, is that this actually does open. So this is how you actually start the locomotive. Now, we come up here to the fuel prime. It says you're supposed to hold it. But we are not going to hold it because we don't actually have to hold it. And then as you guys can see there, it is starting up a little bit. We got the RPMs going. And then let's go ahead and start it up. You guys should be here in the engine start up soon. All right, so the engine is running. So let's go ahead and set this back here to run engine is ready to start and then we have to come up over here and do the uh, field generator but let's go ahead and um, come back over here and shut this yeah I guess uh, the uh, engine isn't sounding from up here but that's okay I believe we started this thing up properly I'm assuming we did I don't see why it wouldn't start up properly well, let's see all right, and we are moving. All right, so let's go ahead and, like I said, we're checking out the uh, alder side route here. We do want ditch lights on. Operation with ditch lights. There we go. And we are currently out here in the alder side yard, I believe, is this is what this is. Um, nothing's actually marked. 
yet but we do have it coming down here and then it just ends right back there so we are actually going to be heading up over here and this is the route all the way up here up here and then it just keeps going on so we are basically just going to be checking out the finished parts um, of this uh, route we're not going to sit here go too in depth about it but we are going to be finishing or checking out the uh, finished parts and we are just going to basically check it out, give some feedback, and all that fun stuff. But I hope you guys are having an awesome uh, Thursday so far. It has been a about a week or so since I've actually uploaded a video. And I do got to say, that is because the internet, or my internet, actually did um, crap out on me. So we finally had the repair guy come yesterday. And... We are back online now. So I'm like, I'm like super excited, but I'm also super mad that the internet did cut out and that it does take them, or at least my internet service provider, a couple days to actually come out. When I remember when I was living at my dad's, it was the same provider and they usually came out within a day or two, but now they're taking like a week to come out, which I think is kind of stupid, but it is what it is. Listen to that engine, man. Let's listen to that engine. But it looks like we got a lot of, like, grassy plains over here. Um, very nice. Nothing really, uh, too much to talk about here, but... But, yeah. So, I hope you guys are having an awesome Thursday so far. Uh, this is actually, um... Long time in the making, because I... He did send me this route a few weeks ago. And I'm finally uh, getting around to showcasing it off here and whatnot. And it looks like we got an alerter going off here. All right, all right, all right. Uh, one thing I did see on Facebook on uh, Searchlight Simulations page is that they actually had a demonstrator... Uh, paint scheme released for this as well so we're probably going to go ahead and check that out as well um, might do something on like the horseshoe curve or something like that with it you know just kind of test it out and whatnot I don't know though um, but we will be doing something with that checking it out soon one thing I have noticed too is that there's not really many paint scheme or like texture options or different liveries for this uh, locomotive. So I'm assuming it's very hard to uh, texture. So there's really, really nothing with that. Um, but what is this call? Oh yeah, we don't need to call anybody. We are good. We are good. But yeah, guys, it's been about a week since I've actually talked to you guys. Um, been slowly replying to comments and stuff like that. I did post on my Twitter that my internet was down, but was going to make a, a post on YouTube on the community tab but I ended up just getting busy and with peak season at Amazon it's just been a crazy 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 time we are allotted to run like eight hours that's how our shifts are or eight hours but Amazon actually bumped us up to 10 hours so we're trying to run 10 hours uh, worth of packages in an eight hour shift so it's um definitely uh, not a fun time at all by all means and here we go with the stuttering gotta love it got to love it but it looks like we got some stuff coming up over here got some grain silos looks like we got a little house out there down yonder very nice Now, I haven't really done much research on this route, so I'm not exactly certain, like, um, what it's supposed to look like or anything like that. I'm just kind of going by what Wet Koala ended up adding into the route and kind of making it. Um, he said it's supposed to be, like, an accurate representation of the other side route, so I'm truly hoping that it is. I don't see why he would lie to me, but looks like we got a little scrapyard over here. Oh, no, we got cows. We got we got cows, man. We got cows and more cattle. Man, that gra that grass got really green. 
All right, so it looks like they got a little farm area going on over here that's not accessible by rail whatsoever. Man, that's, that's a lot of cows, man. That is definitely a lot and a lot of cows. So I know the crossing coming up over here. Man, I just love the uh, bouncing up and down in the cab that we can do with this uh, Jeevo. It is actually makes it look super realistic and whatnot. I just freaking love it. But we do got a, like I said, we got a little f uh, farm coming up over here with a little trailer house. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I don't know why it's stuttering like it is, but it is. A little outside view action here. Looking super nice. Super nice indeed. I mean, technically, since we're on single track, we don't need the ditch lights. But we're just going to keep them on just in case. So we another crossing coming up over here. One thing I do like about this route so far is that it's actually just, you know, simple. There's not much going on. Mainly, you're just running through the Canadian Plains for the most part, I believe is what the uh, description of the route actually is. Um, so, it's actually really simple. You just got nothing but greenery. A lot of greenery. You'll have some farms, you know, some crossings. You might hit a big city or two. Um, but for the main part, you're just kind of running through the Canadian Plains. We got that 40 coming up right here. Got a little fence over here. Not sure what that leads to, but it's just a little random fence. It's like my uh, brake cylinder is flashing, which I don't think is a good sign. There we go. It's at 45 now. Man, that is a loud engine. That is a definite loud engine. We're going to stay in the uh, cab view for right now while we try to get this engine um, up to speed again. But it looks like we got another uh, crossing, I believe, coming up. And we got some stuff to our left. I can't tell what it actually is. Um, but we are just going to explore. All right, so it looks like we got a little bridge over here, a whistle post sign that's like literally hanging off the edge of this hill over here. But a nice little bridge. Look at that, man. That looks cool. Then it spans over here across the road. Man, that I just love the bouncing on this route like with this locomotive and stuff how it bounces up and down going down the line that is super 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 realistic and i am actually loving the feel of it if only i had my rail driver working um i don't actually have it i have it like to the left of me on this little like bookshelf storage thing i have over here but i don't actually have it plugged in to my computer I keep saying I'm going to take a look at it, you know, clean it up, dust it off, and uh, use it, but I just, I always forget to do it when I'm getting in game, because I'm always like, you know, I'm excited, I'm going to record something, and then I'm like, halfway through the video, I'm like, wait a second, I have a rail driver over here, why am I not using it? But then again, also, a lot of the uh, locomotives and stuff like that are still not compatible with rail driver. I'm trying to get into like different simulators as well like run 8 the Orion trains with the Z I'm gonna try to uh, get into open rails again because there's a couple different um, routes and stuff like that in those games that I do want to you know check out and take a look at and all that fun stuff so definitely gonna be trying to take a look at that as well and what do we got coming up over here we got another whistle post looks like we're coming into a little town up here but I'm going to go ahead and shut up so we can clear this crossing since these horns are pretty loud. All 
All right, but yeah, it looks like we do have a little town coming up over here. So we got a brake cylinder is at 31%, but the brake pipe and the reservoir are at 9190, which is okay. Now there should not really be nothing in the cylinder. So our sh brakes should be released, which I think they are since if we're going up in speed. Yeah, everything's released, so we're all good there. Stuttering, man. Not stuttering. But yeah, we got a little town coming up here to our right here. Looks like it's just a bunch of houses, and then go way down yonder. It's a bunch of houses. Man, that's a lot. <laughs> We're not actually going to go through town. We're just going on the outskirts of town, it looks like. But that does look nice, man. Got some semis on the road over there. Looking nice. Looking nice so far. So far, I am enjoying the route and all that. I'm not quite sure exactly what like what type of trains run on this route. I'm assuming there's grain trains, um, but I'm not exactly 100% certain what type of trains actually run on this route. I know that there's some YouTube videos online of it, so I might take a look at those and try to like recreate some of those trains. Um, but as of right now, I don't specifically know exactly what types of uh, trains run on the route, so we're just going to have to uh, leave it up to what Koala to let us know, look at the YouTube videos and all that fun stuff, so very nice, coming up on a little underpass over here, man, or overpass, I guess I should say, since the road's over us and we're going underneath. Oh, the brake cylinder is at 41 right now. Looks like we got a whistle post coming up. Probably right after this curve, so I'm going to start sounding the horn. Got some weeds growing in the tracks, man. Oh man, looks like we got a little grain uh, silo or grain elevator coming up over here, it looks like, I believe. So grain does definitely go on this route. Uh, looks like it's a grain silo. Looks like it's a grainery, yeah. It m well, it might be something different, I don't know. I've never seen silos like that before. Might be something different, I don't know. I'm assuming it's like a grain facility but that's not a grain silo so I don't know oh look at that little signal right there in the middle of the track that's cool got a house to our left over here and then we got some houses to our right as well looks like we're getting out of this little town here another whistle post One thing, though, that I do like about this locomotive is that the fact that it'll stay at a consistent speed. Because I've noticed that other locomotives on Railworks, I'll leave it in like notch 3 or 4 with a heavy train like this. And it'll just, you know, keep picking up speed and keep picking up speed until you're speeding. And then you have to hit the brakes and then you end up having to, um, you know, fiddle around with the throttle and stuff like that. I really like the fact that I can just leave the throttle at like notch 3 or notch 4 or whatever. And it won't pick up speed. It won't decrease speed. Granted, we're on a... We don't have a grade. We're on flat land right now. Um, but... But yeah, that's one of the things I really do like about this locomotive and the physics it's got. But we are going over a body of water right now. Man, this is... This is kind of trippy, man. <laughs> I do got to say, though, it's not even on a bridge or nothing. It's just on, like, grass. Kind of weird. There is a crossing. I, I honestly don't see a road over here, but I guess there is a road over there. That's kind of odd. That's different, though. Like, you just have your track, and then it's, like, body of water, road, body of water. 
Never seen anything like that before. If I'm being honest with y'all. Alright, looks like we got another little town coming up to our right over here. Um, and yes, I know I'm speeding. I'm trying to go faster because 45 mile an hour is just a little too slow for the showcase. And haven't really made any progress on the route, so... So you're going to be speeding a little bit throughout this video. I'm probably going to go no more than 60. Um, but it looks like we do have a siding coming up over here. Mile pole 20. Checking out the little town up here to our right. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Not sure what this is. If it's an actual siding or if it leads to something. Nope. Looks like it's just a siding. Okay. Been running parallel with this highway over here for the last couple miles. Not sure what highway it is, but we've just been running parallel with it. Alright, looks like we've got another little town coming up over here. Um, one thing I am going to end up doing is, you guys see, we're actually right there. And we actually started right here. So we haven't really gone too far up the route. So what I'm actually going to do is we're going to come up here to the... Um, Connectedy, I believe is how you pronounce it, siding, and we are going to stop right there, and we're going to be showing this off in parts. Um, because I do remember the last time. All right, sorry about that, but I do remember the last time it took about an hour to showcase the whole route. Um. But we are just going to be doing it in parts. Because I do remember it was a non-commentary video. And I did cut out a lot of parts. Um, but we are just going to be showing off this route in parts. So we are just going to be using various uh, Canadian Pacific locomotive. And various like CP motive power. And all that fun stuff. Um, just so we get some variety and stuff in. Um, but yeah that is going to be what we're doing. So we're just going to end up coming up to, like I said, connected east siding. We're going to pull into the siding. And then we are just going to, um... Oh, it looks like we can't go to connected east. Okay. So we'll end up coming out over here to, uh... Richardson. So yeah, we'll go to Richardson siding instead. Um, we'll have the track lined up for Richardson. Looks like we're going to be heading into there anyway, so that'll work. But yeah, we are currently right down here, and Richardson Siding is literally right up here. Oh, that's Connectedy. So Richardson is right up there. So we got a little bit of a ways to go in this video. Uh, looks like we're coming up on a 60 here, so I'm going to start reducing our throttle so we don't go above 60. So we got a dual grade crossing coming up. We got a little farm town, or a little farmhouse, and coming up to our right over here. Look at that, dual crossing, that's cool, that is cool. Look at that little town to our right here. Nice little town. Looks like a sawmill back there. That very tall blue building. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So yeah, with this one we're doing a grain train. Um, we got a whistle post coming up. But I think the next one we'll do like an intermodal. And then maybe like an auto rack train depending on if we need a third one. But there is new auto racks available. So I might end up trying to use those. I don't know. Man, I just love the bouncing around that we can do in the cab of this locomotive. It is super nice. It actually makes it give it a nice realistic feel. But yeah, like I said, I think the next one we'll do is a um, intermodal or an auto rack. 
and then we'll just kind of go from there see if we need a if we need a third one if not then it's all good if we do then we'll figure something else out for that but CP 8648 is going to be heading into the siding there at Richardson and that is where we're going to end the video today all right looks like we got another little uh, siding going up over here with another little town to our right I would um, go out on the outside view but with these uh, Jeevos screaming in notch 8 like they are I'm not going to but we do have another crossing coming up here and one down the line look at that we got telephone poles to our left here super cool we got another crossing up the line up here but yeah man really enjoying the route so far like I said it's just basic it's simple there's not too much going on um, mainly you're just driving through like the planes and stuff like that there's no like small towns you're going through different speed restrictions and all that nice little change of pace you know we always do like the bigger routes like the racetrack um, Rias Pass Highline all that stuff and it's actually really really nice to get like a change of scenery from time to time you know something where you can just stay consistent with your speed not have to worry about you know slowing down from like 55 down to a 35 and all that fun stuff I mean granted the line speed is 45 as you guys can see and we're actually going 58 um, but it is gonna be a nice change of pace you know take some trains down this line you know at a steady pace and not have to worry about you know oh when is the speed gonna drop or all that fun stuff so it's actually really nice I mean there's not too many grade crossings which makes it um, even better um, but but yeah so far it's a nice route I really do enjoy it I can't wait to run some more trains on it can't wait to do the other two showcase one or two showcase videos depending on how long it takes us to do the second one because this is actually a pretty large route I mean it's not as large as like the Marias Pass route but it still is a pretty uh, decent chunk and we got Connectedy coming up and then we'll be heading into our uh, siding here so it is still a pretty decent chunk of the route um, to be showing off it's like I want to say we've pretty much just showed off a quarter of the route yeah because we started all the way down here and we're right here in this blue so we pretty much did just show off a giant chunk of the route so yeah we do have some more sightings coming up over here what I may end up doing actually since we got all this here I may end up just going down to Vulcan instead and just kind of having us stop there at Vulcan so but yeah since they're like right next to each other we'll end up just doing that and then we'll see where the next video takes us all right looks like we got something else going on over here a little farm town man that is a cool crossing though I really like like angled crossings like that that is super cool we got a random stretch track over here this must be that one siding we were gonna stop at but we couldn't we got a nice little town right here along the highway very nice man that track is full of weeds man it really is it really really is man it's got a random tree up there with the crossing looks like it's like it looks like it's in the middle of the road honestly just off the road man but one thing I have noticed I do feel like that this route is 100% just mainline running so I don't think it has any um like there might be a few switching like stuff to do with the route like you know like locals and yard jobs and stuff like that but I feel like mainly this route is for like mainline running like grain trains and intermodals all that fun stuff I could be wrong though I don't know 
um, but that's just from looking at it and looking to see how many sightings there are and yards and stuff like that I do feel like it is just mainly a mainline running um, route but that's just my like personal opinion on it that's just how I kind of see it I could be wrong and if I am wrong do correct me in the comment section but that's just kind of how I'm seeing it as of right now all right so it looks like we ended up going into the yard anyway for some unknown reason I guess the track is the switches weren't set properly but we are currently going into the yard here I didn't want to go through the yard but we ended up going through anyway hoping all these tracks are set properly so we don't derail this thing but man that's crazy though I had the track set to the main line but we ended up going through the siding or through the yard anyway that doesn't make any sense though But we are pretty much almost at our location. Um, I feel like we're just going to stop it right here. And just end the video right here. And then pick up. And just pick it up in the uh, next episode. From over here. Because we are going to be pretty much just dropping our train right here. For the most part. And uh, yeah. Was definitely not expecting to go through the yard. Definitely not expecting to go through that yard. But that is going to go ahead and do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the route so far. Like I said, we will be doing another so showcase video up the rest of the line. Because we're currently right here. And where that blue is. And we have all the way up there to go. So we're about halfway done. Um, so one more video will probably end up doing it. And we just go all the way up here. So yeah, definitely one more video will end up doing it for the most part but uh make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you guys do enjoy as well as make sure you guys follow me on all the social media twitter instagram facebook all that fun stuff now we'll catch you guys here on the next episode peace